let's take a look at intergovernmental relations. Intergovernmental relations is a relatively new term used regularly only in the past 60 years. It designates an important body of activities or interactions occurring between governmental units of all types and levels within the federal system. These include national, state, and interstate relations, as well as national, local, state, local, interlocal, and national, state, local relations. The consequences of IGR are often unpredictable and decision making is hidden from public view. A second feature of IGR is that the individual actions and attitudes of elected and appointed officials determine what kinds of relations exist between units of government. Third, IGR does not refer only to occasional interactions, single contacts, or formal agreements. Another key feature of IGR is the involvement of public and private, government and non-government officials at all levels. As appointed administrators at all levels of government have assumed greater responsibility and as IGR has become more pervasive, intergovernmental administrative relations have taken an even greater significance. Many public purposes are also accomplished through non-governmental institutions and organizations. Action in the federal system is often taken on selected parts of a general problem rather than on a total problem area. Decisions are fragmented rather than comprehensive. Governments usually act in response to relatively specific pressures for narrow objectives and find it difficult to politically unprofitable to do otherwise. Although government policies exist in areas such as water quality and air pollution control, no single policy governs the nation's approach to environmental quality. A major reason for this is the availability of literally hundreds of government agencies at all levels to act independently of one another. Because a wide spectrum of political opinions and issue preferences are reflected in national government activities, it's inaccurate to speak of what the national government desires, intends to do, or is actually doing. When different governments do try to integrate their efforts through cooperative activity, their joint undertakings can be based on the foundation of programs that are not consistent in intent, design, or execution. Thus, IGR involves virtually all governments and public officials. It's highly informal and very dependent on human interactions, and it involves the nonprofit and private sectors as well. Historically, the evolution of federalism and the emergence of IGR have been accompanied by continual disagreements and tensions over just how national and state governments were to relate to one another. Under the dual federalism approach, symbolized by a layer cake analogy, the functions of national and state governments are separate and distinct from each other. On the other hand, under the cooperative federalism approach, symbolized by a marble cake analogy, the functions of national and state governments are intertwined and exhibit patterns of cooperation and mutual support. Disagreement exists among about the extent to which each of these models has existed in our history and which one is preferred over the other.